Today I'm going to make a magnetic chalkboard. I'm using a piece of steel for this because I've never heard any really good reviews about the magnetic paints. Yes, it does work, but I don't think it works great. So I bought a two by three foot piece of steel at the home store. This was $19, it's 22 gauge steel. And the first thing you wanna do is clean the steel with a little paint thinner because the steel comes with an oily residue on it. I'm using contact cement to laminate the steel to a piece of half inch MDF. This is something that you really don't have to do, but I feel like it, it's one of those little things that makes a difference and it will give the chalkboard a more solid feel. I've let the contact cement set up for about 15 minutes so it's dry to touch. And you only get one chance with contact cement. So to make sure everything lines up, I'm using sticks. And the sticks won't stick to the contact cement as long as there's no contact cement on the sticks. And I'll use these sticks to help make sure that I put the steel in the exact right position. Okay, so I'm looking pretty good. I'm going to remove this stick and let the steel attach. Then I'll reach under and remove the rest of the sticks. And just apply a little pressure from this side forward. Now I'll use a J roller to apply pressure to the steel and make sure that I have a good bond with the contact cement. I'm using 120 grit sandpaper to lightly sand the steel and I'll clean it one more time with paint thinner. And then for a primer, I'm using Zinzer Cover Stain. This is an oil-based primer. And this is primer that I had in the shop. I use this all the time when I'm working on metal, aluminum, and steel. And if I were buying primer, particularly for this project, I would have had the primer tinted. Uh, they can't make the primer absolutely black, but it would be maybe a, a gray color and that would be better than white because it would just be easier to cover with the chalkboard paint. For the surface of the chalkboard, I'm using chalkboard paint. And I like to use two coats first going basically in one direction and then the next direction. I sand in between each coat, just lightly sand. And once that's dry, then I use a Bondo spreader. You can get these at any home store or hardware store. And I'm applying the paint as if you would be applying spackle or plaster. And this doesn't give you a, an absolutely perfect smooth finish, but I think it gives you a smoother finish than having brush marks or roller marks. And it gives you a finish that resembles slate or stone. And I just think it looks nicer. Okay, so just kind of a quick video this week. I'm making this chalkboard for a friend and, and they specifically wanted a magnetic chalkboard. So I've been using the squeegee or the putty knife for a while now when I make chalkboards because I think it looks nicer than when you use a roller or a brush. But this is the first time that I made a magnetic chalkboard and I thought this was a pretty good solution. And in a few days, I will be posting another video for making a frame for the chalkboard and also making some accessories for the chalkboard. So I hope you'll tune in for that. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.